Cancer Leo to your May beginning of the month reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Guys, I will be doing the uh, full moon reading for Taurus. If you guys have any Taurus in your chart, heavy, like rising, moon, Venus, north or south node, you might want to watch that reading. Okay, because uh, Taurus is go has a lot of stuff going on this month that will be affecting you if you do have a Taurus heavy in your chart. Okay, so make sure that you are watching those videos um, this month. Okay, and the Taurus regular reading as well. Okay, you might be getting something out of that, right, because it's going to affect you. Okay, so let's get in here and see what's going on with you, my friends. Best message coming out. You guys will get your regular um, collective new moon reading, though, okay, for the whole collective. So, no worries there. Okay, it's just that Taurus will be getting their own because there's so much going on. So, be sure to pay attention to that. Best messages coming out. falling out look at that overall awareness talking about the magic happening a lot of magic going on over here so let's clarify on why the magic is here we do have the waiting game so it just look like you have been waiting for something you might be manifesting uh, the overall awareness card is like the magician so it is saying where you're putting your magic but you might feel like you're in the waiting game um, let's see why you're in the waiting game. Is Are you going to continue to keep waiting? This is one and two. Do you notice that <laughs> on the numerology? This is where you have those choices and reflection of what it truly is you want with the waiting game. That is the same as the two of wands. So it says you are looking out to the situation, waiting for your ships to come in um, as you are waiting for these new beginnings. Um, probably some kind of maybe even, you know, um, making the magic happen are you co-creating right but that magician is also that one is also about willpower and strength as well as the magician so a lot of magic going on and being fully aware of what it is you truly want to come in it says moving on from a situation in the beginning of the month with the six of swords so there could be something there that you feel like you're getting in your boat and wanting to leave you know and go out to calmer waters uh, moving on away from something that you just know needs to be done. So now we're going five and six. Well, wow. okay, we have one, two, five, six, interesting, five, emotional loss. So there is definitely something that you are wise about that you know that you need to get into this boat and you need to leave behind as you are co-creating something different. You are manifesting a different scenario going on within your life. It feels like I want this turning point within my life to happen. I do not want to get stuck here, whether it's in a love situation, a career Whatever it is for you, this is a general reading. It's not based off of love or career. It just is what it is. Um, it's just saying overall, uh, you do have the overall teamwork to the situation. So it does look like you were looking for the long-term re results. And I have put a lot of work into this situation, but I might be leaving this behind so that I can wait for something new to happen. It does look like this, this whatever it was, you have come to the conclusion. You will be seeing that this is with your overall awareness at this time, that this definitely was testing your faith. Um, and that you might have felt a little defensive about this situation because, you know, you put in a lot of hard work. So now you're going to have this overall awareness, right, of the situation coming in, saying, well, this is where I want this to, to be. This is where I want this to happen, right? This is where I want th these things to come towards me, right? With the king of wands over here seeing the bigger picture overcoming the challenge there it is something about being a visionary and having the ultimate awareness that this might not be going in the direction that i wanted it to go in so whether or not i'm reevaluating a situation or fixing a situation to move into a different situation you do realize that it is time to move away from this to get something better okay when you do move away from this what's going to happen when you do move away from this 
whether you absolutely move at this time or you are thinking about it, right? Are you taking action or are you just thinking? Um, it's two different things, right? So what is the overall partnerships and alliances? For some of you, you're going to be leaving this partnership and alliance because it causes too much mental conflict within the situation, right? There's a lot of memories of love because you've, you know, you've put a lot of hard work into this, right? So if you know that you are leaving this job, even though you have built a great, you know, foundation around um, my coworkers, right? We get along so well, my loved ones, you know, I'm leaving, maybe I'm leaving home for school, you know, and um, or leaving this job for a new job, leaving, you know, whatever it is, leaving this relationship, this friendship, even though we had a lot of good times, it's causing nothing but mental distress, and it works, you know, in a negative way. There's too much negativity around this situation. It's time for me to move away from this. Okay, so... Clarify on the partnerships and alliances. This is going to build an overall strength when it comes to this situation with that awareness card over there. Like I said, the one is actually within that magician is actually bringing in extra confidence and strength. This is going to allow you to feel like you are very strong. Look at the, you have the king of wands and the strength. So you have that Sagittarius energy with that Leo energy. And then you have that, that Sagittarius energy again. So you could be definitely, you know, moving away from a Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be, or a fire sign. But, um... The whole, you know what, there's a different influence that's going on around you. You might even be influenced, right, by a new job. You might be influenced by a, a, a partner to say, hey, you know what, this job isn't working anymore. Maybe they're influencing you, right, because the strength card has a lot of influence as well, saying, you know what, you, you know what, you're right. I am going to go for this other job. You know what? I You're right. I am going to go back to school and do this. So you might have somebody actually influencing you to make up your mind. You know, if you're over here saying, you know, I'm a little blocked. I have this mental conflict. Maybe you've seen something online and it influenced you to want to say, you know what? I do want to do this. I'm going to pick up in this area um, and move. Yeah, there it is. Swift action. This is where all of a sudden that mental block no longer becomes mental conflict. It's like you are now in your power to want the swift change. You are making things happen. You are taking that action. You're making quicker decisions about this situation. You have the influence around you to say, yeah, there's a lot of love and a lot of memories here, right? But maybe I'm living in the past. Maybe I expect this to be this way and it's never going to get back to the way it was. Maybe you're with a relationship that was cuddly wuddly and now it's not and you feel like it's not getting back to where it was and you know what even though we have all this this long-term plans and rewards and all these great things that are happening I'm realizing it's not going in the way I wanted to go it is no longer like the past the past was romantic and now it's not and the more I even try to bring in that romance it doesn't go anywhere. Do you see what I'm saying? Whatever is going on in this situation, it is not like it was in the past. No matter how much you can put the effort in, the love in, and do the things you were doing, there is no passion for this anymore. The passion has died. All I have is the memory. Okay. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. And it, you know, but however it is, it's saying this is where I need to understand where I need to be emotionally balanced and compassionate to myself. And for some of you in this relationship, if this is a relationship, which I see relationship, if you have this relationship, it feels like you're the one that's supporting all of the romance and all the tenderness. Remember, for cross watchers, it could be the other way around. Okay, but you're just saying, you know what, this is not working. It's more of a memory. Because what we're building for the future is not the same as what we had. So I'm, I'm walking away from this idea, this job, this love, building new, wanting something new, going after something new, but I'm waiting. Yeah, see, because I need to have positive movement forward. So the outcome is the positive movement forward after you have the tower. 
This is going to cause that disruption so that you can bring in the new beginnings. So it says that, you know what, there will be positive movement forward. You can make this happen. You can make this happen with the Eight of Cups. As soon as you understand that you are walking away from this situation and disappointed with the situation, that all this is causing is situation for the new world, right? The disruption says, because I am changing. I am attaining and fulfilling new things going on within my life, wanting something new, accomplishing the wholeness. The Spirit says, you can have the new world. Okay. Okay, everything will be justified. Right, so it does look like what you're trying to attain will be and can be attained pretty easily once you let go of what no longer serves you. Spirit says then everything will be balanced because of the cause and effect. And you can plan. There's that two of wands again. So it says that you can co-create. You can Use that magic within yourself to discover things. A lot of you are leaving home. There is some of you getting a divorce. I see that because here's wedding chapel. Here's divorce card. And it's saying, you know what? My goals will be attained. Not looking anymore for a reconciliation, but looking at my travel, looking at my leaving home, looking at where it is I need to make these decisions. But I have to really step into my power, to my firepower over here, right? There's a lot of fire going on, right? A lot of fiery energy going on within this reading. Saying, you know, I am attaining these goals. This is where I definitely want to want to put my foot, right? This is where I want to put my chariot. And some of you, it literally could just be a car. This car is not, it's penny pinching me to death. It is a lemon and I cannot do this anymore. I need to walk away from this car. I need to gather strength. I know we've had many miles together, but you know what? And I love this car, but it's getting me nowhere. I need something that's going to take me from point A to point B and not break all the time. Be just something just as little as that, right? When we're talking about that, okay? Clarify on the strength card because I actually see for somebody, and I don't know, who, this just popped into my head. I don't know where it's coming from. Somebody is going to let their dog, is going to put their dog down or their cat down. Somebody is letting their loved their loved one, animal, furry, furry loved one down. And they're having a very hard time letting go, knowing that you need to, to put the animal to sleep. And you're having a very hard time, but understanding that this is, you know, going to be the blessing for the animal itself and you know that deep down inside you just cannot seem to want to let the animal if there's an animal again letting the animal down um and it just feels like it's a very hard decision to have to put the animal down of course because he is your partner he's your best friend he is your child however you see your animal he is a family member no matter what um, and I do see that, and I'm so sorry, but I do hear that, and I do have to bring that to light, because I do see that. And I did hear that, too, so. Okay. I don't know, I'm hearing, like, Coco. I don't know, why, are, why, why is the name coming up? Coco? Something like that, Coco. I'm not going to let my Coco go. I don't want to let my Coco go. Coco. I don't know, but I see it literally, yeah, like Coco, something like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, but they're, the animal is consciously aware that it's time to free his spirit or her spirit. They're ready to go home. They know. It's almost like they're already in the knowing. Spirit guide is already with them. With you. Yeah. The death card. Yeah, nature death. So. Okay, my friends. And they're going to be fine. They're going to go home and they're going to be fine. Okay. Okay. I have sometimes the weirdest things happen. 
Wow. In the near future, everything's going to work out fine, so just remain positive, okay? Okay, and with, it says within the next few months, everything's going to come back around. I just feel like, you know, you're going to get an ultimate blessing in the end. Yes. Thank you, Spirit. What is it? Helpful people. There's going to be helpful people around you, Spirit says. And I also feel like the helpful people is also Spirit itself. Now, the word I'm getting in my head is add some. Um, add some is when your Spirit Guide comes towards you, they're leaning on you, and they're, they're saying everything's going to be okay. You know, I'm with you. I'm standing with you. Helping you through this. Okay? And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.